I'm in my 30s. No, I'm not dating for fun. I'm dating to find a husband. <laughs> Get it together. I'm in my 30s. How am I? Oh, I'm tired. I'm in my 30s. I'm grown. So don't play with me. I'm in my 30s. I'm always wearing sunblock. I'm in my 30s. You trying to be outside. I'm trying to be overseas. I'm in my 30s. Of course I'm still hungover from last week. I'm in my 30s. I can spot red flags from a mile away. I'm in my 30s. Of course it's the new 20s. I'm in my 30s. Of course I'm trying to go furniture shopping. Let's go now. I'm in my 30s. Am I having a midlife crisis? Perhaps. I'm in my 30s. Of course I don't pay about my sleep. I'm in my 30s, so of course I'm trying to travel. So do you have a passport? TSA pre-check? Global entry? No? It's over for you thoughts. It's over. It, it, it ain't that time. It's over for y'all. The, the other thoughts made it bad for you. Uncomfortable part of any man's day is when you see your girl getting dressed and she's on her way to an event. A branding event. And she's looking as good. So what time does this event start? Seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seven and did you invite me? Uh, you can come. Am I invited? Huh? You can come if you want. Please! Please! No, I'm asking, am I invited? Sure. You want me to join you? Should I get dressed right now? Maybe. You need security? I don't. You don't need security? You don't need to be protected? You don't need no protection? No. Oh, son, can't open your eyes. Can't you see? Huh? Damn, son. Dog, it's clear as day. That shorty is just using this dude, man. <laughs> Fellas, understand something, fam. When you got a girl and your girl is, is in love with you, fam, she don't want to go anywhere without you. It's to the point you might have to force her to go places by herself. Like, baby, you got it, man. Go ahead. But she wouldn't want to go anywhere without you. But imagine your girl telling you you can come if you want to. That's like saying, nigga, I don't want you to come. Stay your ass at home. Your girl got a Brandon event, bro? I don't know, man. Somebody is probably smashing shorty by now. Gotta be. <laughs> Gotta be, bro. And it's like, he's so in love that he can't see it. And this is why I tell you all dudes all the time, fam. It's easy to get the pussy, bro. Just don't fall in love. He's mesmerized by that fat ass. That fat, big old ass and all that. He's mesmerized. He's in a daze. He's not seeing that shorty's a bird. And this is what happens when your dudes fall in love, bro. You all lose focus. You all get blinded. This video is mad disrespectful, bro. Fellas, take heed, man. The bottom line is this, bro. If your girl wants to go out dressed like this without you, nine or ten times your girl is cheating on you, bro. And fellas, be aware when your girl is just using you. Body language tells everything. That's why as a man, I keep telling y'all, man, don't pay attention to your girl's words. Pay attention to her actions. Does this seem like a woman who is in love with dude? Or does this seem like a woman who is just using dude? You tell me. Look, this happens to the best of us, all right? There's no man in the world who's exempt from this. And that's why, fellas, never get too comfortable. That's just the reality. 
never get too comfortable and think it can't happen to you. Once you decide to be in a relationship with a woman, your job is to observe her. Your job is to pay attention to the signs. Don't listen to her words. Pay attention to her actions. Because the good thing about a hoe, a hoe always show you signs of who she is. But the problem is a lot of times men tend to ignore the signs after they get the pussy. Like once a dude get the pussy and he fall in love, especially if he's not used to getting pussy, he's going to ignore all the signs that this bitch is a bird. When the signs are going to be right there. So that's the bottom line, man. Fellas, just don't get comfortable and get pussy whipped and fall in love where you can't pay attention to the signs. But again, this could happen to anybody. Just don't be trusting these birds. That's just it. We got to make sure you, uh, we got to make sure you say, you got a sign on camera? Can they see it? Five months pregnant, can you be my rich baby daddy? That shit is crazy. Well, first of all, I don't want to offend your real baby daddy. But I would love to, first of all, get you out of the pit so we can put you somewhere safe like the VIP or some shit. Because you can't be out of the house to have. When I start playing some of these slappers, we can't have you get pushed around. Second of all, I'd love to give you $25,000 so you can be If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Wow. Imagine Drake using your pregnant baby mother for promo. <laughs> this right here is crazy, bro. Fellas, this is why you have to be careful who you decide to plant your seed in, fam. Because if you plant your seed in a bird, she's gonna think shit like this is okay. This right here is so disrespectful, bro. It's almost unbelievable. And it just goes to show, fam, for the right price, your girl gonna go. And as a man, you can't trust a woman like that, bro. Like, when a woman is out here cloud chasing and doing shit like this bro you can't trust her she would do anything for a dollar anything now this will live on her kid will one day grow up and see this shit and how does the real baby father feels now after your baby moms did some shit like this there's no way you could be okay staying with her but she don't care she don't care man she was willing to break up a happy home for clout fellas Respect goes a long way as a man. You can't put a price on respect. Like this right here is a definition of all money and good money, bro. Because the moral damage that will be done from her doing this, money can't compensate that, especially $25,000. Because not only is she going to affect this kid life, because the kid gonna be looking at this shit like, damn, my mom was a was a little bird. She was a groupie. She was a stan. She was ready to bust it open five months pregnant for Drake. How can you respect your mom? And she also disrespected and violated the real baby father. Because as a man, you don't ever let your woman shit on you, dog. For no other man. She's making the baby father look like he in shit. This right here is crazy, man. Fellas, again, keep away from low-hanging fruits don't feed the birds this is the price you pay when you decide to plant your seed in a bird well let's be wise out here man for real this right here is sad the whole why the fuck did i get married series solidified my take on telling your friends your i've said this for years and finally somebody else has said it the only people that be going gun ho on the whole like oh you should never tell your relationship is anybody but other than the two of you are the same people that believe in suffering and silence bro like they're the same group of people that feel like when people do janky shit to you you should never tell your side of the story you should just basically let that person be janky in peace and just take your l i've never believed in that i'm a firm believer in telling your friends what's going on in your relationship because i just feel like 
if there wasn't no wild, janky, crazy shit going on in a relationship, why would you be hiding from your friends and t not telling your friends anything that's going on? Like, be so for real. And of course, I'm not saying tell all your business, but there be some stuff where it's like, girl, you know the reason you're not telling your business is because you know that you in some janky shit. And if you say anything about it, it gives room for constructive criticism. And you don't want constructive criticism because you don't want to be told that you're being stupid. You want to be stupid in peace. Just say that. You are embarrassed of your situation and you don't want anybody to know. I'm going to go to my friends and... If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. Y'all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch. Y'all already know, man, STC, support the content. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and follow me right now on Facebook. I'm going to be posting content every day on Facebook starting from today. Follow your boy right now, AQ Reactions.